um, right behind you too. Those are just larger burgers. These are similar, definitely ones which you can replicate and do at home if you wanted to. And what we have here are full styrofoam pots that look just like this. Now you notice a larger hole in the center and those smaller holes all around the side. Now for that larger hole, you're going to throw up this pipe, this black pipe that you see right over here. It's essentially just a fountain pipe and it brings all the water from this tank over here and brings it up and then it releases it and then the water just comes down the smaller holes that you see along the side. So once you have all these stacked up and you have all the, um, all the, the pipe up there, you're going to fill it with a medium, known as perlite. Now perlite is really cool because it allows for aeration and it retains moisture. And so you're going to fill it with this and then you're going to grab yourself some rock wool, which you see right over here. Now, as you can see, the rock wool is just a whole bunch of cubes that we have. Now, you place each individual cube and each individual seed inside of these cubes. And you grab a cube and then just plant it directly into the perlite that we have. Now, rock wool is really cool because, again, it retains moisture. But now you're allowing the roots to have something to grip onto. So you can't just directly place it into the perlite because it'll start getting flimsy and just fall over. And so it's important to have to have a rock wool so the roots can stay balanced and, and healthy inside of here. And then once you have your constant water nutrient supply going through here, um, make sure it's able to grow and do really well. The, um, the tanks that you see at the bottom here are actually hooked up to the solar panels that you see here. And that's how the water is able to circulate. This one's a lot simpler and it's just hooked up to a regular pump, um, regular pump for water to go up and down. But like I said, we just fill up these tanks in the bottom with nutrient water. And it's the same nutrient water that is seen in this hydroponic grow tank that you see right over here. Now, it's pretty much the same thing as what we've just seen in the sense that we have a styrofoam mat and we cut up little cubes and that's where we place the rock wool that we have. So you put your rock wool in, you seed whatever you wish to grow and you fill up the fish tank with nutrient water. And if you look right over here, you will notice the roots exposed right inside the water. We have an air wand in there to allow for constant aeration. It's, um, it's just an air wand that you'll probably see in a fish tank, one of those standard ones. And with the sunlight from up above, you're, you're good to go and you can start growing um, a lot of different things. So, it's important to keep that area dark right? Yeah, so, you, so you want to prevent algae? algae, so that's why we keep it covered. Oh. So do you start the seed in there, do you start it in soil and then transplant it in there? No, we never use soil, you just start it in the, um, in the rock. Okay. Okay. But you, you have to aerate it to keep oxygen in the water. 